This is a question for Allison. Jason, what's your assessment of the real Anthony Valchi book, which I haven't read it, so I can't really speak to that. Um, so I, I don't, have you read it? I like, would just say it's about like impact investing. <laughs> As much as we like focus on these larger than life figures and make this about a health event, it's not a health event. It's a finance event. It's a metaverse event. I mean, the biosurveillance is enabling the metaverse, but it's a metaverse event that's tied to data surveillance and impact investing. Okay. And as long as we get everyone thinking it's about Fauci, yeah. Like yeah. all you need to know is like the, the system is corrupt. The goal is to get you on blockchain and then to track you and, and ultimately to get move from wearables to biosensors. Once you know that, that's enough. Like I don't need every single little bit of tiny data to tell me right. about ins and outs of all these things. Like, And I'm not opposed to someone exposing Fauci. He is corrupt. And, but it's, it's like, I got it. I got into a little bit of a debate with someone on Facebook the other day about this because they were wrong in Fauci, Fauci, Fauci. And I'm like, you realize that Fauci's just a servant. He's not actually in charge. Um, yes, he's horrible, but he's replaceable. And I think that's really the key. There's a system in place um, that he serves and he serves very well. But um, but yeah, I think that to, to spend too much energy on that and not on the, the larger thing that they're representing and they're serving, um, you do that to your detriment. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on engaging? Does it youth? talk about the HIV stuff too? Like I don't know. I haven't read it. it. I actually plan on getting yeah. it and reading it. And I'm I, I kind of doubt he goes into that, which is unfortunate because they're totally, the 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 yeah. HIV narrative and this this narrative are, are like you, they overlay. It's 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 really incredible. Yeah. I mean, I would say just from my point of view, if you're reading it, and and I don't, I haven't read it, so I don't know if that's in there, but like. I've connected, and this was something that was not on my radar at all. Like, it's not until occasion comes for you to learn these things because it's not like you're going to learn them from the mainstream media or in your school classes or any of this. But I connected with several, you know, very um, solid researchers who had long histories in the AIDS, dis AIDS dissident community. I didn't even know that there was such a thing. Like, until you do, and then you find out. And then, once again, Jason, you say you look at the histories um, that where we're at now came from a very specific long history and, and the HIV setup and the policy programs around that were a direct tie-in with where we are now. And similar players, similar approaches, um, you know, similar considerations around, you know, terrain and, you know, big farm and everything else. So yeah, that's a really big piece. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, there's a really great <laughs> film called The House of Numbers. And I had actually brought the filmmaker out to Denver and I rented a big theater and big, had a big deal about it and, and lost a lot of uh, – I've had a lot of people very angry at me. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's called House of Numbers. You can actually still find it on YouTube in certain places. Um, or you can also order the DVD. I actually recommend ordering the DVD because it's got a lot of extra really great interviews, um, including Carrie Mullis who created the PCR test. Um, but and then there's also a book by Peter Peter Duisberg called Inventing the AIDS Virus that I highly recommend and he kind of challenges how you know like is a lot of the virology you know the, the 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 overt focus on virology at the expense of looking at other other things um, and then he, and he talks about AIDS and HIV 